Hello and welcome to the 17th lesson of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where our ultimate goal is to become job ready to start providing freelance services with WordPress and Elementor on Upwork, Fiverr or whatever freelance marketplace you would love to work on and so far I am so glad to see the progress you guys have been sharing your practice works on our dedicated Facebook group and I would love to start this video by showing you some of the examples as you can see from Sibra's bot he followed the lessons he created this web page by using wordpress and elementor i'm so glad to see this work he have shared this work as well and we have got from kishan shield he shared his project as well and not only them we have got many more project um sharing on our dedicated facebook group and i'm so glad to see the works that you guys are participating on the um, practice works and i'm so glad to know that you are being able to understand the lessons properly and you guys are making the web page by yourself so that you are getting the real experience i'm so so happy for this and i really appreciate your hard work guys so here i'm seeing a new uh, project here and just take a look i'm so pleased you guys are making these things and now in this video i am going to show you how we can create this testimonial section of a wordpress web page using elementor so first of all let me take you to my wordpress dashboard and after that i'm going to take you to the page which is uh, from here all pages and we have been working on this elementor web page design we have got two lessons we have covered this page and now this is the third lesson of elementor page building course or page building lesson so from here i'd love to click on this edit with elementor but before that let me show you how our web page is currently looking like which we have been creating so just take a look we have got this web page created step by step using elementor free version so far and now we are going to add the testimonial section and then i'm going to show you how to work on this section as well so that you will have have a complete web page designed throughout three lessons so first of all let me take you back here i'm going to remove this part and this one from here and i'm going to keep um, only this web page which i'm going to follow the design from and then i'm going to keep this page to start adding contents on this web page so to start being able to add contents here i have to click on this edit with elementor button right here so let me click here so that it will take us to the elementor editing panel and from where we'll be able to make the adjustment we'll be able to remove any parts if we need and you'll be we'll be able to add contents to this web page uh, when needed and obviously you're going to add content so here we go we are going to add contents right here as you can see this is the plus icon which we are going to use so let me click on this plus icon and after that i'm going to take one column based structure so let me click here and here we go we have got this structure if i take you back to our original design here we have got this heading then we have got this paragraph so let me take these things first so let me take you to this widgets option and after that i'm going to drag this heading right here and after that i'm going to take you back to the widgets option then i'm going to take this text editor right here just take a look we have got these uh, two things appeared now let me just simply copy and paste these things and then we are going to learn about these um, testimony things so let me copy this uh, heading then let's go back here uh, click here so that we'll have this editing panel appeared for this heading option now let me just select and paste the text which i have just copied and from here i'm going to give the alignment to center as we are seeing this is center aligned now i'm going to copy this paragraph and let me copy this uh, information from here let's go back again to our editing panel and after that i'm going to click here so that i will have this text editor editing panel so now i'm going to select this content and then paste the content which i have just copied and after that i am going to take you to style so that you'll be able to find this alignment option and now let's click on center and if you just notice here we have got two lines right here and we have learned two different ways of adding two lines in a single line of a elementor text in my previous lesson and now i'm straightly going to this part and i'm going to take you to let's say yeah i'm going to use advanced and after that i'm going to give the padding from right i'm going to give let's say 300 and oops i made a mistake so i should unlink this one first so let me click here so that it will be unlinked and then it will get the values wherever i am putting so on right i want to give like 
300 pixels and on left i'm going to give 300 pixels and just take a look we have got this text appearing in two lines right so as we are seeing right here now let me take you back and after that if you just notice we have got these testimony things and to make this work for us to make this happen we have to take the inner section so let me take you back again here and after that i'm going to take you to widgets panel and then let's click on this inner section and drag it right here and just take a look we have got two columns added now i'm going to add the contents here so first thing as you can see we have got this star signs and then we have got this testimonial so let me add the testimonial first and then i'm going to add this star thing so if i take you back to the uh, editing panel and after that i'm going to click here so that it will show me this elements page or the widgets page and then i'm going to type out here test -E and just take a look we are seeing this testimonial option so let's just click and drag it right here and just take a look we have got this testimonial added now let me take you back here after that i'm going to copy this testimonial from here copy and let's go back to the editor and from this content i'm going to select the previous content and then paste the new content right here just take a look we have got the complete content appearing here now let me take you back again here and after that i'm going to take the name from here which is ricardo owens so i'm going to copy the ricardo owens name from here let me take you back here on our editing panel and if you just notice here we have got in name we have got john doe so we are going to delete this one and i'm going to paste the one which i have just copied which is ricardo owens and after that he is designer so we have got this title designer if you need you can simply uh, put something like this whatever you want like developer or ceo owner whatever you need so i'm just going to type out desig and your designer again all right so here we go now it's time to select the image so as you can see here you're seeing this choose image option you can simply click on this choose image and then you can upload the image whatever you want to upload here maybe one of your clients image or let's say uh, the any other image your clients might going to give you so you can simply use this upload option so as we are going to make the make this website replicated so i already have this image on our media library and you already know how to use media library for sure so let me show you let me take you back to the editor panel and from media library if you just notice here here is the image right so if i click on it and then let's click on insert media just take a look we have got this image added as well now if i take you back right here just take a look we have got these star marks so we are not seeing anything to provide these stars but we have got few more options which we can just roam around we can try out few things to learn more so what i would love to do to get these star signs simple i am going to take you to this widgets panel again and after that i'm going to make a search for stars star just take a look star rating is appearing here so if i drag this right here and if i yeah just right here just take a look we have got this star sign added now i can give the alignment to center and after that if you notice here these stars are looking like a kind of light stars so in this case i'm going to take you back if you just notice here icon and currently it is selected to font awesome you can simply click here and then if you click unicode just take a look we have got the exact looking icons as it is here right so now let me take you back and if you just notice here we have got some spacings in between the stars so let me give the spacings if i take you back here and after that yeah uh, from here from style if i uh, show you from here you can simply increase the size you can decrease the size if you need but i think 15 is going to look nice or let's say 20 is going to look nice here and after that from spacing you can simply increase or decrease the spacing based on your need so i think uh, 15 spacing is going to look nice here so if i take you back yeah so it's looking almost similar and it is looking nice now if you just notice this box or this column has a border and then in between the border we have got some padding so now first thing that i'd love to do is i'm going to do the borders uh, border stuff so after that i'm going to give the padding stuff so that you will have a clear idea you'll be able to understand the thing easily so let me take you back here after that i want to give a border only specifically in this column so if i click on these three dots and then 
just take a look we have got this edit column option if i take you to style then you are going to find this border option from here we'll be able to add the border so let me click here and after that i'm going to select the border type which is going to be solid and after that i'm going to give the border white to one pixel so that it will be a lighter border and from here we are going to change the color let's say i want to give this color as an example now if i click here you might going to see some change here just take a look we have got a border right here right so now if you just notice we have got some border radius as well in the corners of this border so let me show you how we can add these borders or border radius stuff so let me take you back again here and after that if i click here again then from style from border if i click on border it is going to show us the works that we have just done now just here take a look border radius where we have to work now so if i give let's say 10 pixels of border radius in the four sides like right left center uh, top bottom then if i show you it is going to look like this so if i just click on update and yeah uh, one thing i forgot to mention whenever you make any change on your using elementor please make sure that you are clicking on this update button so that the change will be saved now if i preview this page in a new tab you are going to find that we have got this box created but it has uh, it needs to have some more work as you can see we need to provide the padding stuffs in between the um, border and the text things or the content things appearing here so let me take you back to the editor again and after that if i click here and then if i take you to advanced from here you are going to find this margin and padding stuff so padding works in between the content so from the border to the content and margin works outside of the border so let me click on this border stuff or let's select this one so that i want the same parameter to whole site like top bottom right left every side so i'm going to type out let's say 40 pixels and just take a look we have got this 40 pixels of padding added into our uh, box here now one thing that i'd love to do i'd love to copy and paste this same work to here so that we will save some time so if i simply uh, click on right button of your mouse and then click on duplicate right here just take a look we have got another box created here or another column created here now i can simply remove or delete this one like this but one thing i am seeing here that is we don't have a space in between these boxes if you notice here we have got these spacings in between the boxes so now i'm going to show you how we can add these things so first of all let me click on update and yeah it's updated now if i click here then if i take you to advanced then i am going to give the margin so now i want to unlink this margin stuff so that wherever i want to put the margin it will work on that side only so let me just unlink this one and then i want as you can see this is the right side of this box and this is the left side so in right side i want 20 pixels of margin so let me give on right side i want 20 pixels of margin and now it's time to select this column and we want to give like 20 pixels of margin in the left side so that it will look much nicer so if i click here and then if i take you to advanced then from margin i want to unlink this one then from left side i want for uh, sorry 20 pixels here 20 pixels and now if i click on update yeah it's been updated and it is automatically loading here if you just take a look we have got these spacings added as well so we have had a question on our private group like uh, he was not being able to add these spacings in between the columns so this is the solution by using padding margin stuffs you are going to be able to add the spacings as you need all right so now what i want to do i want to make it much faster so now if we just notice we have got another image here with this same um, post or whatever you want you can simply put the content right here but you can simply change that image as you need so if i click uh, let me take you to the editor and then if i click here it is going to show me the editing panel for or the option to change the image for this box so simple if i click on choose image and after that let me select this image which is added right here just take a look we have got this image changed 
and we have got these similar looking boxes appearing on our wordpress website right so this is how easily we can create these types of testimonial uh, sections in our wordpress website using elementor page builder now i want if you just notice we have got four columns so we have got two columns already created and now i am going to make you uh, make it real faster it's pretty simple if i simply click here and click on right button of our mouse by hovering over on this complete section which is containing these two columns so if i hover over here and then click on the right button of your mouse and then click on this duplicate button and just take a look we have simply duplicated this option pretty easily right so now what i'm going to do i am simply going to give some margin stuff in the top side of this complete section so if i if i just click on update now and if i reload this page here you are going to see that we have got the boxes created but the sites are touching the lines are touching each other so we are going to give the padding stuffs now as you as you can remember we have provided for this box we have provided 20 for this box we have provided 20 pixels of margin that combines to 40 pixels so we are going to give like here on the top we are going to give like 40 pixels of margin so that it will look so nicer so if i take you back here and after that if i click on these three icons and then we are going to get this edit inner section if i take you to advanced then from margin i'm going to unlink this one and on top i'm going to give 40 pixels and if i click on update now you are going to see that we have got these changes really really beautifully happened here right so pretty simple way of doing this stuff so this is how easy it is to use elementor page builder to create beautiful web pages for your clients now let me take you back again here and after that if you just notice we have got some spacings in the top we have got some spacing in the bottom so we are going to work on this stuff so simple i'm going to select the whole section and after that i'm going to take you to advanced then i'm going to give some padding stuff here so let's say from top i'm going to give um 100 pixels and from bottom i'm going to give 100 pixels and just take a look we have got these spacings added automatically into our wordpress or into this section specifically right so now if i take you back let me see where we are yeah this part is looking great and now it's time to work on this section right so simple we are going to take another section by okay let me just cross this out it is just making me uh, what is it? i don't know so let me just click here on this plus icon and after that i'm going to take another one column structure for this section so if you just notice we have got this one heading then we have got this paragraph and then we have got this button so three things we have to take so let me take you back again here and before that i'd love to change the image so it is a real quick job so i'd love to do this so that it will look much nicer and professional so here this image and this image i'm going to add them right here so let's click here choose image and after that we have this image and in for this column i have got the other image which is this one insert and just take a look how it is looking like let me click on update and here we go we have got everything happened properly or everything been done properly so now we have got let me just cross this out again and now i'm going to take this one column structure and after that if i take you back we have got this heading paragraph and then this button so let me take you back here now let me take you to widgets and then drag this heading right here then i'm going to drag text editor right here and then i'm going to drag this button right here all right guys so just take a look we have got the basic structure or the base structure already it's time to provide this information so let me just copy these things copy and paste them here and after that i am going to take it to the two uh, second line so i'm going to use now the html tag so you should know about the ways you should know about um, how things works so that you'll be able to implement them to make your client projects easier and easy to do actually so let me take you back so after love dot we have got um, i'm going to provide this bracket 
and just take a look we have got two lines now i'm going to take them to center alignment and just take a look it is looking sorry it is looking real um real like uh, similar to this one now let's just copy this paragraph from here let me take you back click here and after that i'm going to paste this information right here and then i'm going to give the html tag okay so it's showing me these codes which should not be so i'm going to delete this part and let's take text editor again so if you are getting these errors simply do these things and it will be gone so let me just provide this information and yeah i'm going to see the same uh, problem again so in this case i'm just going to go with the other way which we already know so if you are facing problems with one uh, way you are going to use the other way so this is the uh, reason why i have showed the two different ways so now let me take you to advanced and after that i'm going to give like the padding of let me unlink this one in right i want 300 pixels of padding and then in left i want 300 pixels of padding and then i'm going to take you to style then let me give the alignment to center just take a look how beautifully they are placed in our web page now let me take you back it's time to work on this button get started now so i am going to click here and then i'm going to type out get started now and then we have got this exclamatory sign and we have got this button in the center alignment so let me take it to center and then if you want to provide the link simply you can add the link right here right so now we are almost done it's time to get the color code and now i'm going to take pixie and come on yeah here we go pixie is opened already so i'm going to take the color code control alter copy you already know about this tool if you have watched my previous lessons now i am going to select this whole section from here let's go to style and after that change the background from classic i'm going to change the color to this color and just take a look how it is looking like similar to the bo bo bottom stuff so now if i okay before i go for that i'd love to give some padding stuffs right here in this section so let me take you to advanced and after that on top i'm going to give 100 pixels of padding and on bottom i'm going to give 100 pixels of padding now if i click on update and then if i preview this page in a new tab if i take you to the bottom of this page you should see your web page is looking like this now what we have to do we have to add this shape divider into the top part of this section it's pretty simple you already know if you have uh, followed the previous lesson so let me take you back here on the editor, editor panel and then i'm going to take you to style and after that from shape divider we are going to give on top it is already selected so we are going to type select the type which is going to be tile and then we are going to change the height to whatever we want to give so let's just keep this with this parameter and if i show you yeah so it's looking great now if i click on update if i reload this page here and just take a look how beautifully our web page is uh, looking like as of now so this was it guys we have created this web page step by step using elementor throughout our uh, three lessons so again i want to show you the lessons which you have followed um Achur rafi So these are the lessons elementor web page with elementor easily part one and then the part two these are the lessons which we have used and learned creating this web page step by step so this was it now it's time to give some tweak on this web page to make it more more identical to our original landing page which we have got right here so Thank you so much for watching and we are going to learn more about Elementor, about the usage of Elementor, about the other options of Elementor for sure in our future lessons. And I believe you are also being able to understand the lessons easily as the other guys are sharing their works on our group. And I really, really appreciate their uh, practice works they are sharing and I'm so glad that you guys are being able to follow along and you guys are being able to create beautiful web page using elementor as a complete beginner all right guys so thank you so much again and please 
let me know your opinion by commenting below please let me know if you have got any question by commenting below and please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video and share this complete course with your friends so that they will be able to learn from this completely uh, or from this complete course um, without spending a single penny all right guys so i hope to see your success and i hope to see you in the next lesson have a good day thank you so much bye bye